Hi guys, my name is ESC Robiv2 and today I'm gonna listen to some music. This time it will be the 28 songs from the Moldovan national selection called O Melodie Pentru Europa. Well, there's uh, yet to be determined which ones will go through to the uh, semi-finals because uh, the live auditions didn't uh, take place yet. So, but the Moldovan, uh, Mo Moldova at Eurovision is one of my favorite countries there. So, uh, yeah, I have, they are my winners in 2007. Yeah. And in general, they are, they do very well in my uh, top. Uh, tops and rankings each year so and they uh, bring each year some variety like last year they brought us some uh, craziness on stage there was epic sax guy so that was very very cool uh, and I'm very curious about what they have this year so there's 28 songs, I'll listen to 25 uh, second snippets and yeah, I try to uh, find a photo for each of the artists but it was impossible because some of the artists are uh, yeah, not that well known so uh, I couldn't find them, find them and yeah, in the uh, videos posted by the Moldova National Broadcaster TRM there were there weren't uh, faces of the artists so yeah it was difficult but well let's start with the first song out of these 28 it's uh, the artist is Anna Odobesco with the song Agony now let's start Okay, that's a strong voice. Very good. I'm very much impressed. She surely can sing. I like the song too. It's that, you know, diva vibe I get from this. It's an eye. Eight, eight and a half. Next up, Anna Timofey, endlessly. They both. Uh, participated in Slaviansky Bazaar, from what I know. Another beautiful voice. And her surname is beautiful, Timofey. It's like, you know, like a princess. The song reminds me of Breathlessly, Malta, last year. Anyways, it's an uh, 8. Next up is Bella, La Bella Luna. And the first artist that I don't know the faces of. With the song moments. Okay, again, voices. But it's nothing special, so it's uh, five and off. Next up, Bostan with the song Fratica, which means brother. Okay, so, there, so there's some O O O. And it's in Romania. It's kind of cute, but well, six and a half. Next up is KMD, which is already known to the Moldovan audience because they participated in 2016 the Omelo Deep Remember? Okay. So this time they've gone for more rock than folk. And it's cool. Uh, six and, six and nine. Next up, Kobila and Konstantin, who was disqualified last year. With the song Numai 2. Oh, he sure is handsome. <laughs> Has some voice as well. Okay, seven. Song didn't impress me too much, but it was alright. Next up, Dima Gaitu, 
with a Russian song, Ona Moya, which means she's mine. Okay, that's kind of Russian folk disco blueness. Okay, six. Next up, Danny Phaeton with the song Maybe It's Love. Okay, let's see if it's love. English pronunciation is terrible. Ah, it hurts my eye, uh, ears. Sorry, not my my eyes also. Uh, for next up, Toyita German was among my favorites in 2016. She was with the song Irresistible. With the song name Dance in Flames. She's very beautiful. She has charisma. She knows how to slay on the stage, so I'm looking very forward to it. It's a 9. Good song as well. Next up, Toredos with the song My Lucky Day. And they have worked with Philip Kirko on this song, so that's cool. Sure is catching up, beat up tempo. And I like their song in 2015 when they tried to be uh, compete for Moldova. That was so cool. I still remember it. Uh, it's very interesting. A nine. Next up is also known to the Moldovan audience. Felicia Duna with the song. Oh yeah. Ah, interesting. Okay, so it's kind of disco song. So it's Alien about love, maybe she loves an Alien. Anyways, uh, um, 7 now. Next up for Matja Cinstel, from what I know, 5 in Romanian, in Romanian is Cinch. Uh, with the song Moldavian Dance. So I don't see here a Moldavian dance, but I hope we'll see it live on the stage when they perform. Anyways, it's uh, 6 and a half. Next up is the art duo, Ilya Sorotea with and Dasha Dagro with the song Minds and Vines. Okay, so that's some high notes. Okay, it's interesting and he sings normally with his voice. Uh, Next up, Laura Bagri with the Buku Bukurei. Yay, Bukurei. Kind of a sweet, cute song. Okay, six and a six six. Next up is Lavinia Russo with the song Altun Deva. Now she's very young. No, in reality, I think she's older than here in the picture. She's best 2013. Yeah, so she's four, four years, almost five years older. That's a seven and a half. Next up is Maria Codriano with the song Zambeste Soarlui. Okay. Interesting. A ballad, a seven. Oh, Maria Nakuda put the song Bianco e Nero, black and well, I mean uh, bl uh, black and white, white and black. No, oh, she's totally slays with her looks. She's beautiful, but she's a beautiful woman. Okay, the song was interesting, seven half. Next up, Nicoletta Sava, Essencia del Sur. So, okay, that's cool, I like that. Her voice is amazing, the song is very catchy, it has elements, folk, 
uh, it's everything. Uh, nine and a half, I like it a lot. Uh, next up is uh, Pelageya Stefoglo with the song Let's Start Together Right Now. Another beautiful woman. I didn't know Mo Mo Moldova has such beautiful women. That's very cool. The song was alright. I think it deserves some eight. Seven half. Next up is Ruslan Taran with the song Come to Life. During this performance, he comes to life, but it's not my type of music. Let's five and a half. Next up, Sadie with the beauty song. Okay, so he's a young male. Singer. I like it and I don't like it, so it's a uh, ah, let it be a six. Next up, Sandy C, well known to the Moldovan audience again, uh, with along with Aaron Sible in a duo with the song Once Upon a Time. Okay, so the voices are very good and it works together. Haven't heard too much, but it's a uh, an eight. Next up, uh, Sasha Bugnibuk with Love. Now, I personally like his music because it's very, very, very different, and he remains true to his style. He never gives up, and he tried multiple times for Moldova to represent Mel. No, maybe it's this time. It's a ten. I've heard the song before. Uh, anyways, next up is Schwetz with the World. Okay, now finally some male singer, hotness, realness, slayage. I don't know how to say it, but it's very, very cool. He's handsome as well, so it's a nine and a half. Next up, Tolik with the song Broken Glass. Okay. Mm. Okay. It was alright. A seven and a half for me. Next up, Tudo Bumbak with the song No My Pen to so it's an elder uh, male. Okay, so it's like old school male ballad. Nothing special. Not a fan of it. Five. Next up, Vera Turcan. Turcan Turcan with the song Black Heart. Okay, so it has a certain beat. A strong song, very emotional. I can see her slaying on the stage. So, and the last song is Fiorel uh, is "Decades of Love" by Fiorella. Well, I'm sure I've picked the wrong photo, because here we see an old wo woman, while the voices are like it's uh, a young woman. So, my bad. And it's a um, seven half. Okay, so those were the twenty-eight songs, uh, and one of them will represent Moldova at Eurovision Song Contest two thousand and eighteen this year. Now, uh, the selection is all right. I'd say it's a bit better than last year. Because last year that we had like two main, uh, well, there was actually one uh, main uh, favorite, uh, and it was of course Sunstroke Project. Uh, but this time it is, it isn't known which one will exactly 
uh, be in the semi-final, win the final, or even will win it. Because there are some good songs that can uh, win the ticket to Lisbon. So uh, uh, let's uh, do a summary on it, and I'll choose my top five out of these uh, songs. To be hard because I have given some high rates. Uh, so it's surely Sasha Bognibov in my top five. There's Nicoletta Sava, of course, with her Essencia del Sur, Spanish folky rhythmic realness. That's cool. And Schwedz with the World was uh, also good. He had a strong voice. And uh, there was also Vera Tutzan with the Black Heart. That was also very cool. And yeah, that's four. Yeah, I have to make it to a top six. So I'll add here Doinita German with Dancing Flames and Toredos with My Lucky Day. Because, yeah, those six songs have I have given a nine or above. But, yeah, one of these six songs I would like to see in Eurovision because they're pretty good I think the on well we will have of course to see what the, the live performance will be like so uh, we can't uh, we can't predict really how well they would do at Eurovision we we'll have to wait until the live auditions so uh, yeah but in general I'm happy that they have some songs well, maybe after a uh, one year of uh, craziness, they'll go for something uh, special, unique, like, I don't know, uh, Schwedz or Nicoletta Sava, or any of the female, uh, like L Lydia Isaac. Lydia Isaac was uh, my favorite in uh, two years ago, so uh, I would like something like Lydia Isaac. So it would be uh, Vera Tutsan, yeah. But well, anything they'll choose, I'll be happy because it will be high in my uh, top. I think so, at least. But there was many uh, songs like Anodo Besco, Anna Timofei, uh, Felicia Dunav, um, Sandy Siena on Sibley. So there are some songs that are good. There are some which are bad, but that's very normal. Anyways, those were the 28 songs and my reaction to all of them. And yeah, if you like the video, thumbs up, uh, do the thumbs up. And if you want to share your opinion about one of the 28 songs, or in general, about uh, Moldova in the past, Comment below in the comment section and if you, if you want to stay tuned for more stuff to come uh, Today there's gonna be uh, the Icelandic artists and the songs revealed and Yeah, next week there's gonna be also more to come because there's a uh, Danish uh, artist going to be revealed and also other stuff like uh, the French national selection, the Czech national selection, so yeah, that was it, thank you for watching and bye guys, see you later!